I'm drinking my naked coconut water. Um, it's actually not bad. Um, I tried a mango one and it was actually kind of gross, I thought. Um, but the lady that I work with said it was her favorite one. I like the natural one. The only thing I wish that it had was, I don't really like sticking my mouth on that. Um, I don't know, because the mouth part was only covered by this tiny little tinfoil, so I feel like my lips touched the top and stuff. So I feel like people's hands could have been all over it. So I wish it came with like a straw, like those little orange juices or Capri Suns. That would be nice. If your body is hot, it kind of cools you down. And I think that's why the lady that I um, I know from that does the Bikram Yoga, um, she drinks it after. But I would think that maybe you'd want to drink it before Bikram Yoga. Because um, Bikram Yoga is so hot. I know that coconut has a lot of good um, powers and whatnot. <laughs> powers, I'm not sure. But I like it. It's good stuff. I'm nearing the end of my detox. Um, I really enjoy these blackberries. Um, my fruit thing was only detox. I'm not going to just eat fruit for the rest of my life. It, but I only wanted to do it for 14 days. But now I'm wondering if I should just do it for the whole month. Because I'm feeling... Um, my nose got a little stuffy the past day. But like I was feeling a lot more... Um, I don't know, a lot better than I had been. My taste buds have actually gotten stronger. I don't know. I think it's helped me in a majority of ways. People want to know if it helps you lose weight. Um, it does. Um, I think maybe I've lost a few pounds. The first time I ever like just ate fruit for two weeks, I did lose like 10 pounds. I don't think I lost 10 pounds this time around, but I know I lost some weight. Um, and you don't starve yourself. You just eat whenever you're hungry. You just, okay, I ate my, I eat this bag of blueberries, let's say in a half an hour. I'm hungry. I just eat again. You don't have like a set breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You just continue to eat. So it's not, it's all about just cleansing my body. And then I'm going to reintroduce, after I am done with fruit, I'm going to reintroduce vegetables back in my diet. So it'll be fruit and vegetables. And I'll do that for like a couple weeks and then I'll reintroduce um, like meats and stuff if I decide I want to eat meat. I think I will. Um, maybe chicken and fish. Uh, but it's all just a cleansing purpose. It's not because I'm deciding I'm only going to eat fruit because that, what I've read about being um, a fruitarian is that it's actually can be very harmful for you if you just eat fruit and um, you can actually become diabetic. And I've also read that um, if you strictly eat fruit, um, it's very hard for you to gain any weight. Um, even if you were just eating the, the fattiest fruits like avocados and whatnot, it's really hard to gain weight. Um, but there, it, I think being just strictly eating fruit sounds kind of like a scary, scary thing. Um, so I wouldn't suggest that in any way. But I'm just doing it to cleanse and to reintroduce things and make myself feel better. Because I think some of my allergies have actually um, got, gone away a little bit. I keep meaning to eat spoonfuls of honey that um, is harvest, harvested by local bees, I suppose, because that's supposed to help with allergies too, from what um, I've heard and people have told me. So I might start doing that soon too. I haven't had like Starbucks, it feels like in a while. Um, so I got a dark cherry mocha, which I haven't tried yet, but I got it with soy milk, double tall extra espresso, and I got half the syrup because I'm afraid that it's gonna be way too sweet. But I'm excited. I don't have any clothes. I thought was a sick thing to say. Yeah. The, these tanks with the lace um, by Only Hearts that I wear a lot because they're nice because they actually, I don't care about covering my bra strap, but they have a thick enough thing that it covers your bra strap. Um, and this is an older style, so it's a little bit different, but we got some in the store. Um, we got them in the color Bone. And these ones are actually a little bit longer than the one I have on. The one I have on is a little bit short. Um, they started making them a little bit longer. And then this, the neckline, is a little bit different. I wear mine as low as I can because that's all it is. I just pull them down. Um, but they come in bone, white, 
and black. And so people always ask me about my tank tops. So we just got all these in, so I have all the sizes, um, but I do only have a limited availability, so I can't put them on for sale on the blog. Plus, I think we might sell them less expensive. That's the problem. Um, ours are $66. And the other tanks by Only Hearts that I, you see me wearing all the time um, are just these plain tank tops and these are $45 and we just got these in so I have a couple people I still need to email to contact them to tell them I did get these in but we got it in black and I don't know what other color so I've got to ask Debbie but um, they're $45 and what I like about all these um, first of all I like the lace because if you want to just have a little pop of lace come out of your um, out of your, like if you wore like a collared shirt this is always a cute look under a collared shirt like a button down um, but they smooth out, like if you have any like chub in the middle section, smooths it out a little bit. Makes everything smooth. I like to wear them underneath things. What color did this come in? Did they both come in the new, all three colors? Oh, okay, so they came in all three colors too. I like them though. They're my favorites. While Debbie's busy, I'll do my outfit of the day. I do it every day because people ask. Um, but I've got the Only Hearts tank top underneath with the lace. Um, this is actually a shirt by Only Hearts too, just a gray. I've also got on, um, the jeans are a high-waisted straight leg jean by Seven. Um, they suck in your belly fat if you want to suck in your belly fat. And so they're just straight leg. And then I've got on my um, Pedro Garcia shoes and I painted my toenails this um, I don't remember what color it is. It's like that orange color from the OPI collection. I like it. And then I've got a 36 inch Lisa Tabas chain on as a change. Um, and I've also got on my Robert Lee Morris forward facing ho hoops, the really large ones um, that I really like. And we do sell these too. Um, they come smaller. I like the really large ones. Uh, I think they make a statement, but they're not, I don't really like I'm not a big earring wearer. Like I'll wear studs and I'll wear some um, big earrings, but I don't like when the earrings hang really. Um, but these are nice because they just sit on your ear and like they're not like a hoop where they will go out like separate directions and stuff. So I like it. You got your iPad today? I did. But you haven't received it yet. Uh, it's at home. I'm going to go see it before you oh, get to see you it. Yeah. Put some apps on it for me. <laughs> Daddy said it's really nice. I know. I'm excited. So I kind of want to get one. You should have one. I should. Should we show them his new cards? Uh, if you want to. They're nice. Let me see. This is my favorite. I just really love this one. I really need him to make it in a painting for me. Um, that one is called Delano because that's on top of the Delano Hotel. Um, that one... This is the one we were trying to tell, call Debbie as a practical joke and tell her that it, um, someone wanted a painting of a woman on a toilet, but it didn't go over the way we thought it would. Um, this one, I think, was supposed to be me. Let's see, Chanel. And she, I think, is looks like she's on top of a hotel, too. No, what building is that? I don't That's know. That's a famous building by Frank Gehry. Weren't you standing in front of it in L.A. or California somewhere? I'm not sure. Um, that one, she's looking, and that's the Delano Hotel. If you can't tell, my dad really likes the Delano Hotel. There's this one. How much are these cards? Three dollars. That's not a bad price. Everybody can afford that. Can I get some? Can you personally make me, like, a bunch of them? Well, I thought you could use these whenever people buy something. You could send them one. Yeah, that's nice. With your note in it. I don't like the redhead. I love and this one. What well, do you think people would? What do you think people would think if I sent them all cards like that? Uh, depending if you knew their age, it may be not appropriate. I don't know. I like that one. They feel nice too. They're like a heavy paper. And then he has his website on the back. Someone, um, someone asked me about nail polish. They said they don't ever feel like they should put nail polish on your fing their fingernails, but you never put nail polish on your fingers. Mm -mm. You just cut them. Sure. I'm too much of a worker. That be it would be off in like a day. I have a jewelry cleaner all over my nails. I wanted to show them that jewelry cleaner. Do you have some so mm -hmm. I can show them? 
they sell this at where do they sell it uh, the grocery store or the hardware store probably tar Target probably has it but this is the best thing to clean jewelry any jewelry um, better than that liquid stuff you dip it in right because that leaves the, like a residue on your the jewelry. liquid is, is bad show them what it looks like it's like this purple stuff and you're not supposed to touch the jewelry directly onto the purple you're supposed to use the sponge but I've actually put Oh, directly. I never use the sponge. You never use the I sponge? I never use the sponge. But you have to make sure that you get all the purple stuff off because if your um, jewelry has any kind of like, me and Ro has like, do you have any me and Ro on? Let's show them. Like me and Ro jewelry has this black um, kind of, I don't know what they call it, but they have this black stuff inside of it. And if you're cleaning the jewelry and you accidentally don't get some of the purple out, it will turn that black, um, it'll just take away the black and you'll have silver like the me and row jewelry see how it has this nice dull finish on it um, you don't want to use a polishing cloth because that will just strip the finish off so that polish is amazing and you can use it for like silver jewelry gold jewelry um, I love it right silver cream the best ever up tutorial by you oh, yeah. Well, what do you apply every day? Uh, foundation, lots of concealer. Do you apply the concealer and then the foundation, or the foundation and then the concealer? The foundation and then the concealer. I apply concealer, then foundation. That's the way you should do it, but I do it the opposite. Well, no, they tell you that you should do it the way you're doing it, but I like concealer and then uh, foundation. Uh, I think the concealer would not work quite as well on me. In the camera I, your blush looks like it's on really funny but in real life it doesn't look like that. Really? It's weird. Sometimes you need to uh, <laughs> do it for the camera. There you go. It looks better on the camera now, yeah. Let's show them what you use no. on a daily basis. You use, she uses, first she uses the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. The, no, you show them everything you use. Where's your concealer? Then she puts on her MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Where do you apply this? Under the eyes. And you put it on your lips mm -hmm. so that the color of your lipstick lasts longer. Yep. And then what else? Uh, then I put, I have my eyeshadows at home. Okay, so you apply a beige color eyeshadow all over the lid and up to the brow bone mm -hmm. and then you apply a brown shadow where on the lid and a little bit up okay and then you apply um, eyeliner yeah. black l'oreal eyeliner followed by black l'oreal voluminous mascara you obviously don't like the iconic mascara I like that i better. That's because you told me that you wanted a mascara that was for lengthening. You didn't want thickening. And this is a thickening mascara. Okay, well. You lied. And then you apply your blush, which is this Estee Lauder. She likes this rose color. With, I don't like rose. Well, what is this called then? Nude rose. What N am I doing with that? Because you told me when you tell me to get a blush color for you, what color do you say to get? Like more of a brown tone. But that is rose. Well, Don't you like it? Like rose. It looks like rose to me. Does it? Like a brown pink is what you like, right? I guess. Desert rose. <laughs> look how, look how pretty it is. Um, the one thing I am on top of a bridge right now. This scares the life out of me. I hate being on a bridge. I just always think like, what if the bridge just all of a sudden collapsed? Like right now, I'm pretty screwed if the bridge collapsed. I'm glad I'm not sitting on the like the the part that lifts up though. That scares me even more. Obviously today is a beach day and people are at the beach. I don't have time for such things. Well, it is um, the Easter, the Saturday before Easter, and Easter Sunday at this beach is so unbelievable. It's so busy, so packed. Um, hopefully, it'll be a nice day for the people that do get to enjoy the beach. Or the people the people vacationing here um, I can only hope that it's a nice day for them because they pay to come get sunburned I can get sunburned for free 
so I really appreciate where I live. I'm off the bridge now. That makes me feel much better. I'm like still like on the hill part, but I am not on the bridge. Traffic is so backed up right now, um, moving so slow. And my gas tank, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have my seatbelt on. My gas tank is very, very low, and I'm a little nervous because um, I don't know how long this is going to take. I have my air conditioning off to conserve, uh, but I don't know what else I can do. I will put on my seatbelt right now. All those motorcycle guys, you know, riding up the sideline because they wanted to, um, they wanted to get buy all the traffic and they're getting tickets now that's what happens you have to be patient I'm running out of gasoline and I'm not gonna jump up on the curb <sighs> we have to follow the law thought it was tricky to have a motorcycle police officer looks like he means business I'm out of the traffic I'm just getting on to the other um, to the mainlands where I can buy my gasoline. Um, luckily I have not run out and I'm not going to run out. So that would have made excellent footage, Lorraine running out of gasoline. I've done it once um, on accident. I accidentally passed the gas station I wanted to get to and I thought I could make it to the next and I ended up running out of gas and I had to call someone because I didn't want to walk to the gas station which was only like a mile away which I could have done. But I was like wearing like, I don't remember where I went, but I was wearing a really short skirt and like some really high heels. And I thought people are going to think I'm a hooker walking at like this late hour of the night. So I had to call a friend. Sure happy to see this thing. What I just bought. I feel like um, if I ever were to win the lottery, um, I would give the person that sold me the ticket money I just always feel like that if they were the one that gave me the winning ticket I feel like they deserve a portion of a portion of what I've won not a huge portion but like a nice like thank you for handing me the winning ticket prize you know I think that would be a nice gesture I'm putting on my seatbelt now so this is the new iPad and this is the prototype of his iPad cover. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Let's see. Is it just like my phone? Sure. Oh, it's a tiny unlock thing. So that's what it, I like it. Can If I get an iPad, can I have this one? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let me, let me do it. Oh, the Stanex.com. <clears throat> Hopefully it's, uh, oops. What if you had, what if you had you on this side and so that uh well, that's your website oh that loads pretty quick yeah it does uh go back see how pete's Oops. okay well, look at this is really great this this uh lorraine's youtube's uh videos uh yeah let's watch my video well no i just want to show you the oh call. why it makes it so small wait wait just watch <laughs> That's kind of nice. <laughs> I like that. Isn't that amazing? I think I need this. Yeah, look how nice that is. Okay, I don't want to watch it anymore. Oh, no, that, that, it's really incredible. I, mean, I like that, your new refrigerator. Yeah. Don't you? Uh, they're gonna be. It's gonna be like a card. You know, here's the exit art website. That's nice. And. Uh, I'll quick that load. It's yeah. really just like amazingly fast. I like it. Yeah. iPhone case. I like this. Yeah, great. Wait, can I go buy one right now? Uh, Do you think that I could uh, get one at the Apple store if well, I went no. there? But look at this uh, other stuff. Uh, I, I didn't have the mail set up yet. Uh-huh. Uh, I haven't done it. But look, the nice pe features the photos. That's I like that. Uh, okay. But it's, uh, That's nice. <laughs> so basically, 
you look at the photos and then down here with the photos too is that like down here you can sort of slide this and stop at any photograph oh that's cute yeah that's cute I want a Jalmation. <laughs> <laughs> a little cute dogs. Yeah. Uh, but then over here is your iPod where you have your music stored. I don't and, care uh, about that. But the calendar. Nice calendar. That is nice. Looks like a, it's a week and then a month and then the list. And then over here is our notes. Notebook. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Super nice. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You want me to throw your ball for you? Go get it. Farah, where are you? Where are you, Farah? I missed you so much. I missed you so much here, Cash. Come here. Oh, good girl. Oh. Cash, keep playing ball. Good boy. You're so good at playing ball. How many come in a pack? Ten in a pack? That's a good deal. I like them. I we have your paw? Good girl. You are such a good girl. Do you have any treats? Oh, I already filled out one of those. Yeah. I thought mine was late. You haven't sent yours in yet? All it, a it asks for your phone number on there and stuff. What? It asks for your phone number and stuff on there. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't know why they want my phone number. Astro, sure. here you go. You're such a good girl. No, you don't want it? Can I have your paw again? Can I have your paw again? Good girl, thank you. I want to see what's in your fridge. Well, for, first I want to do the outfit of the day. Okay, you've got a black um, v-neck sweater on. And a black t uh, crew neck t-shirt on. Gap. Gap. What's, Pete, Pete bought this for me. what's the sweater? Sweater you bought for me. I don't remember yeah. where I bought it. Well, Debbie bought it in New York for me. Oh, that's nice. And then I got old Levi's that you, that you and Debbie bought for me in New York. Nice. We're good people. And what kind of glasses do you wear? Uh, flying black. Well, who are they by? Uh, I think they're Gucci, but I don't know. Yeah, they're Gucci. But then I got the... Uh, those nice shoes. The Goya? Is that no, what they were? Or? Ben oh, Ben Sherman. Ben Sherman. That's nice. And, uh, a nice hole in your jeans. Yeah. And, and Is there it, a patch to yeah, like I try? Yeah, I got a patch. <laughs> I ironed a patch there. Nice. It didn't help it. It, it. it worked about 10 washes. Okay, now show them what's in your refrigerator. All right, then down here. This is the freezer. <laughs> Freezer. Vanilla ice cream. And Why are ice. they in those? Make your own ice cream mm, bins. This, this holds it better. Okay. And then, uh, okay. There's Debbie's. Debbie likes wine and she also likes milk. You don't drink the milk, right? No. Yeah, and then over here is some water. Some aquapana. And, uh, some condiments, soy sauce. Pickles. Pickles garlic. The margarita mix, uh -huh. garlic, the uh, salad I made last night with ham and cheese. And, no, it's hearts of palm on there. Oh, hearts of palm. Bought it first time I ever bought hearts of palm. And I got some, uh, let's put this here. Some salad dressing. Uh, yeah. Do you drink soda? Where do you see soda? The, uh, the A&W root beer and the ginger ale. I drink it once in a while. I have a Rupert floats once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, what I do is I, I mix a little. Where my drink go? Uh, oh, what I, I do is I mix a little ginger ale with my. Uh, margarita milk. mix? Yeah. That makes me happy. <laughs> what are you making for dinner? Uh, I am making. Chicken here. Okay, that's chicken with what's on it? Uh, breadcrumbs and just a little seasoning. What kind of seasoning? Um, probably uh, uh, some uh, 
parsley. Parsley. It's hardly anything to it. Okay. And do you want a starch? You add macaroni. Macaroni. You want a starch? <laughs> no, I don't like. You don't like the starch. Okay. I'm only eating fruit right now. Huh? I'm only eating fruit right now. Oh, I know that. And Cash. And Pete, Pete bought this when he was here. It's never been open. Aunt Jemima, that's nice. Buttermilk pancakes. Cash, this is your food here. You want to show them your food? That's. Well, how are we gonna have dinner with us if we just eat fruit? I'm not gonna have dinner with you. I, I would. I'd say move to New York. But if I move to New York, uh -huh. I don't know. What? I don't think I like New York to live there. Oh, you'd like it. Unless you buy me a nice fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something, an endangered animal yeah, coat. Some kind of endangered animal. It's not worth giving a, uh, a fur coat unless it's an endangered animal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really. I mean, you need an endangered animal, something. Uh, and and you know, the second thing, too, is you need an animal that's real small so that you have to kill maybe about 500 just for one coat. Yeah, that's okay? true. You don't want a big animal where you only need to kill 20. Yeah. You need like a little tiny animal where you have to kill a whole bunch just to do. <laughs> well, I'm just leaving my parents' house now. I have dog hair all over me. My eye is itchy because I'm allergic to one of the dogs. I'm not sure which one. I think it's the husky because her coat um, sheds and stuff. But my eye hurts. My nose is so stuffy. And I used to live there and stuff. And the husky would sleep with me. And every day I would like my eyes would wake up, I'd wake up and I'd look like I was like on drugs, but it was just because I'm deathly allergic. Um, I know I'm really allergic to cats and my, I am allergic to some dogs, not all of them, but one of them is like killing me. <sighs> Got to go wash my face like immediately at my house. Eyeball is so itchy and I can't stop scratching it. It's horrible. <sighs> Oh, my nose is so stuffy and I feel like I'm going to die. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, if you move to New York, I will buy you a nice fur coat when, when the, the weather turns to a point where you need a fur coat. 